What if I told you that there is a device with which you can hear plants? Sounds absolutely crazy, right? Well, I built it for you. Hello digital friends, my name is Toby and on this channel I'm learning new skills and exploring different exciting things. So if you are watching for the first time, please make sure you give this video a thumbs up and if you like the content, you should definitely consider subscribing to this channel. I promise you, you won't regret it. I think everyone knows that plants are actually alive, but most of them don't show it because they grow or move too slowly for the human eye. Even though there are plants that are fast enough, like carnivorous plants, they all have one thing in common, we can't hear them. By chance I came across a four-year-old Arduino project on the internet that deals exactly with this topic and I was immediately thrilled. The device you can build claims that you can make music with plants. How the heck is this supposed to work? As I said before, yes, plants are alive. Well, plants do not have nerve cells, but they can transmit electrical signals along the conducting vessels. These electrical signals are not very strong, but they can be picked up by electrodes that we know from medical technology. These signals are fed into a sound generator, for example, a synthesizer. This reproduces the signals in the form of notes. Don't worry, you don't have to use a modular monster like this. You can use your computer and a free software instrument. There's no business like show business like... Okay, let's recap. The plant produces electrical signals. These are passed from electrodes to the device, which amplifies the signals and converts them into MIDI signals, which passes these signals onto a synthesizer, which plays the notes. <gasps> After all, I'm not a programmer, nor I have ever put together an electronic circuit before. It took me weeks to put it together, learn everything, understand the code and get it finally working. Let's talk about the device for a few seconds. It consists of about 50 parts, but the brain of the whole thing is the Arduino Uno. This is the control center and where the code is located. I didn't write the code myself, I also found it on GitHub. The link is in the video description. Since plants know little about harmony and have almost no sense of rhythm, the result sounds a little bit chaotic and not very musical. The device can control the intensity of the signals via this potentiometer. Yes, it's a knob. Furthermore, it can force the signals into musical scales via the Arduino code. This sounds a bit more musical, but because of the missing rhythm, you can only make ambient. You can set the sound you like and just listen to the plant. It's very relaxing. To make it more rhythmic, you have to feed the trigger signals into an arpeggiator. This then plays a rhythmic sequence with each trigger. This way you can create unpredictable patterns and use them for all kinds of electronic music. Well, the battery of my camera died again. 
I had time to uh, make a coffee. What I wanted to say is that all in all, it is an insanely exciting project. If you are interested in building this as well, please write it down in the comments and give this video a thumbs up. If I get enough positive feedback, I will film a detailed tutorial for you. By the way, all of the components I used for this build costs less than 50 bucks and you can buy them on Amazon or at your local electronics store. Before we listen to the awesome and mysterious sound of this Monstera, I would like to ask you to subscribe to this channel. It is absolutely free and you will help me to keep this channel alive. Thanks for watching and see you on the next video. Have a wonderful time and don't forget to water your plants. Thank you.